take a look at the cutting width dial and what it actually does in relationships to the cutting blade. On the left hand side of the machine, you'll notice that you have a dial and you have settings from four to seven. And what this does is this positions the cutting blade further away from the needles. So if I have a setting of four, that means that that cutting blade is closer to my needles. If I change it to the setting of seven, that means, as you can see this moving, it's moving the cutting blade away from the needles. But I think in order to get a better look at it, let's go ahead and take the presser foot off. So now you can actually see that cutting blade. And this is what I'm talking about when I say cutting blade. If I have my setting at that four setting, you can see that the blade is sitting really tight up against that stationary blade. But if I take it to the number six setting, you can see how it is pushing that blade further away from either my left needle or my right needle. And what this does is this allows fabric to lay flat in there so that it doesn't necessarily tunnel. And you'll use this adjustment oftentimes depending upon your stitch if you're using a wide stitch or a narrow stitch and sometimes depending upon your fabric. Now there's another great little attachment that comes with the Baby Lock Vibrant and this is actually called a cutting with stitch gauge or cutting with gauge. And you'll notice on the front of the needle plate, there's kind of a little indent and it looks like there's a little slot there. And you'll see that you have a tab on this gauge. If I simply line those two up and slide that into place, my cutting width gauge is now in place. Now when I use this, for instance, if I have my setting at a four, I want to align this marking up with where my blade is going to be cutting. And now I know if I align my fabric up to this edge, my blade is here, I'm going to be trimming about a quarter of an inch of my fabric off. So I have less fabric sitting in my seam allowance, or I'm actually more accurate with the width of my seam allowance as I'm stitching. So when you're playing with this cutting with uh, gauge or guide, I strongly suggest that you take your presser foot off, you align your cutting blade where you need it to be, and then adjust your guide so you trim the proper amount off of your fabric. The cutting with gauge, or guide as I call it, is a great way to make your seams consistent and accurate because you have something to judge of where the edge of your fabric should sit as you are actually stitching.